Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. So I've been playing around with a bunch of different watercolor techniques recently, and today I wanted to try something a little bit more realistic. So I thought I would share the process with y'all and we will see how it turns out. So this is my inspiration image that I'm working from. I reached out to Emma on Instagram and asked her if I could use her photo. Um, I will link her below, so make sure to go check her out. All right, y'all, so this is my sketch so far based off of that photo. I've changed a couple things. You can see I have added a candle here and down here, as well as a cute little crystal point. That's why not. I am really looking forward to seeing how the detailing of the tiles works, as well as the floral elements all across this wall here. So yeah, we're going to hop on in. I have it sketched onto my paper, but I do not have the line work done yet, so we're going to start there and hope that it ends up coming up. So I'm speeding through most of the line work here, just so y'all don't get bored. If you'd like to see this in more detail or more in real time in the future, go ahead and comment below and let me know. But for right now, we'll just look at it kind of fast. So I'm just starting with some light color washes and as we go along I'll add in some more detail and depth.
I'm trying to add some detail to the bubbles now. I'm adding some shading and then later on I'll start adding more white detailing and hopefully it will all come about all right.
I did end up doing a lot of the final detailing off camera, I can definitely show more of that in the next video if you'd like. Go ahead and let me know below. Um, I was trying to keep it from being too long and I was experimenting with a couple techniques that I was not really sure would work out. But they ended up being okay, so next time I can show them if you'd like. So this is the finished piece. I'm really excited with how it turned out. It was a lot of fun getting to work on it and I got to practice a bunch of new techniques that I definitely want to use more of in the future. Again, thanks so much for watching y'all. I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to see future studio vlogs. Y'all have a good one.